There is a video on YouTube of me bawling my eye, like ugly crying at the end of recording that because I was so invested in it. And it was just my first favorite. What's up, Popbirds? Veronica Valencia here, and I am joined by voice actor extraordinaire, Lucy Christian. What's up? Hi, you guys. Hey, how are you? I'm doing so great. It's been such a fun weekend. Everybody is so nice and excited. It was really fun to see people so excited to be out and to be living on the shows and so much great cosplay and it's so much fun. One of the shows that you have been speaking about a lot this weekend is One Piece. So much. It is so exciting. I've been on One Piece for about 15 years now. And it is so great to see One Piece having kind of a new day. Like, with so much excitement about it, there are so many people that have come through the lines that are stoked about the Red movie coming out and stoked about that the thousandth episode happened recently. And um, there's the new live action coming out. And it's we're back on Toonami. There's just so much going on that's driving people to the boat again, <laughs> which I definitely co-sign. As the navigator, best navigator ever, co-sign watching One Piece. And with all of that goodness, I'm sure being a part of the series means a lot. Oh, it's amazing. Um, I remember being cast in it and everybody wanted to be in it because, I mean, number one, it's rare to have a show with this many episodes, it's kind of job security, <laughs> but also it's such its own world. There's nothing quite like One Piece. And um, what a gift it's been. I mean, it's sort of, I can mark my adult career by this show that we're all uh, sort of a voice family of at this point. We've been working together so long. So it's a huge blessing. And so there's One Piece, My Hero Academia, yes. Clan Ad. Oh! There was another little show that you did uh, called Full Metal Panic. What? Yes. Oh my gosh. It's yes. A, a personal favorite of mine. And with, you know, anime starting to come out with like reboots and finally maybe finishing their stories, what was it like? re-entering that world. Oh my gosh. Well, Full Metal Panic is one of my personal favorites. It was my first lead role. Kaname Chittery is my very first. My first. <laughs> and um, yeah, I mean, a fourth season sort of dropped out of the sky 10 years after the third season. And what an amazing, I mean, what an amazing thing. Because uh, I truly think that show has so many of the best qualities of You've got your mecca, you've got your comedy, you've got your high school drama, you've got your <laughs> romance, you've got supernatural. The supernatural, kind of yes, the whisper. Like, it's so super fun. And yeah, and I, I really appreciated um, Funimation slash Crunchyroll really trying to bring back all of the original cast. And it meant a lot. Um, super sweet, and it's great. What a great series. Try it. Try it. It's great. You heard it here. Try it. Yes, it's so good. <laughs> Now, with voice acting, you you might often do challenging roles or roles that are very hard vocally. So, yes. what do you do to kind of protect your voice in those instances? Well, the best thing I do is try to stay hydrated, just drink a lot of liquid. But mostly, I think it's about sort of how you attack it. I like to do just the line parts first, and then do all of my yelly stuff at the end of the session. And because that way you can do the things that hurt at the end and go away and rest. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Yes, and <laughs> that is my, that's my trick. Also, just like as a fun thing, because we yell so much, if you put an H sound at the beginning of a scream or a yell, it places the sound in a place in your, in your body where it doesn't hurt so much. Fun right? fact and fun helpful fact. tidbit. Yes, like instead of going, ah, you go, ha! <laughs> and it goes up in here and doesn't like crunch your throat. I love that. Isn't that wild? <laughs> take it, take it. All take of the, advice. all of my tips. Yes. yes. So I'm kind of, as I'm curious, as like a general rule of thumb, now with anime, there's so much manga out and there's often manga that is past what's going on in an anime, yeah. uh, One Piece, for example. So for you as a voice actor, what's a good rule of thumb if someone wants to come up to you and maybe talk about something in the manga that maybe hasn't been done in the show yet? Well, nobody likes anything to be spoiled. Not even us. Um, 
and you never know. I think sometimes we think if somebody's not caught up with something that they don't care about it, and that's not true. I mean, I think we just should just assume that people are busy or are at different, they're just at different places, that's all. And so whenever possible, err on the side of not spoiling. Like, the coolest thing is, because I'm a part of a lot of shows, that people are not there yet um, at the end. But it's cool to say things like, wait till you get to season five. Or, wait till you get to see whatever. I've also had people come up and ask me if I've read ahead in the manga, like for um, My Hero, if I've seen everything that's going to happen in season six. I haven't. I know some things because I've, they've been told to me or I've seen panels. Um, the drawn panel so I know some things but I don't know it all and I appreciate it when they're like oh well I'm not gonna spoil it but you're gonna love it that is the best and I'm sure you do love it I do love <laughs> it I do I do and yes. so you've had a wonderful career voicing so many roles and you're known for some for the roles of roles like One Piece My Hero as I mentioned but what is a role that you did that you absolutely love that maybe you don't get asked about enough that you just want to just shout it out and say, I loved this character? Okay. Okay, now. Some of the old ones are so much fun for different reasons. Azumanga Daio. There's a teacher I played. I adore it. Um, weird little show, Magical Shopping Arcade Amnabashi. Weird title, amazing show. But my first favorite, my first favorite show was a little show called Princess Tutu. So good! I implore you to watch it. It's <laughs> so good! And I was a hardcore fan of this show. There is a video on YouTube of me bawling my eye, like ugly crying, at the end of recording that, because I was so invested in it. And it was just my first favorite, you know? That one, Princess Tutu. So you hear, you heard it here, if you see Lucy at a show, talk about Princess Tutu. It's true, it's true. <laughs> I am a total fangirl about it. Yes, and if anybody every now and then I get a little duck or a Princess Tutu or a Crahi or somebody come up that's cosplaying and I freak out and take their picture and put it on Twitter because I have no 